There's a spirit in the old ways. It whispers of things unchanged, unencumbered by time. Here, it lives on, remembering those raw, sometimes hostile yesterdays, when the cultures of Indian, cowboy, riverboater, and sodbuster first began to mingle. It is a proud spirit, revealing, recreating our proud past. We protect our past carefully, share it willingly, because the sharing honors the countless men and women who wrote our songs, spawned our legends. Our past, our history, is a unique treasure and an important part of our spirit. Let your imagination run free. There's plenty of the old and the new to see and do here. Discover the spirit here in North Dakota. great space to park a 30-footer? We've got room. You can have it down home or upscale. It won't take you long to discover what a few of our best selling points are. North Dakota's unspoiled, uncluttered, and unusual.
Old-fashioned steam jamborees tell of a bygone time when North Dakota's giant bonanza farms dominated the eastern prairies. There's always time for a hands-on experience when these North Dakotans who love big iron, belching smoke, and steam engines get together. The promise of rich land brought the sodbusters to the prairies. And the promise was true. The agricultural bounty of the Red River Valley is known worldwide. A stroll down the main street of Bonanzaville, USA, lets you soak up more sights and sounds of another era. Whether it's a stagecoach ride right down the main street of our largest city or a paddle wheeler cruise up the Red River, there's always another discovery right around the bend. The heavily timbered Pembina Hills at Walhalla, the Valley of the Gods, contrast beautifully with the Table Flat Prairie. Head west, and you'll find the famous International Peace Garden in the scenic Turtle Mountains. The entire area combines nature's unbeatable sculpture with delicately landscaped pools and other unique floral arrangements. This botanical wonder is an inspiring symbol of Canadian and American friendship on a border defended only by good common sense. North Dakota's not famous as a water playground state yet, but it will be. Bring along your water toys. There's plenty of clear, sparkling water in our lakes, both big ones and small ones. Lake Sakakawea, one of the big ones, has more shoreline than the coast of California. The lake is named for the Shoshone Indian woman who guided the Lewis and Clark expedition. And it's the host lake for national windsurfing and sailing regattas every summer. It's summertime when most of our visitors come to North Dakota. But they come in winter, too. The still, white world of wintertime is both inviting and invigorating. Winter's bark here in North Dakota is a lot worse than her actual bite. And more North Dakotans, and a growing number of visitors, are finding out that there's just too much going on for winter hibernation. occur in nature, spring happens at just the right moment. And our distinct four-season pageantry starts over.
In summer, North Dakotans head for the lakes and their favorite fishing holes. North Dakotan and pro angler Dan Nelson sums it up this way. Fishing's my business, but it's also my favorite source of recreation. That's why when the tournaments are over and it's time to go fun fishing, I come home to North Dakota. If you like ice fishing, Devil's Lake produces more jumbo perch than any body of water in the world. It's also a great open water fishery for walleye and northern pike. Catfish is your bag, the Red River Valley. Lots of big whiskers in the Red River. If you like river fishing, Missouri can't be beat. Then there's my favorite, Lake Sakakawea. 370,000 surface acres, 25 million acre feet of water. 1,600 miles of undeveloped shoreline. And Sakakawea still produces more big walleyes than any other body of water in the world. It's got northern pike as big as alligators. It's the world's best on tap source for smallmouth bass. And that's to say nothing of the finest sauger fishery in the world. Chinook salmon, lake trout, rainbows, and browns. In some states, they talk about the good old days of fishing. In North Dakota, the good old days are right now. The Pioneer family and the Skyscraper State Capitol stand proud and unyielding, linking the values of the earliest settlers with today's North Dakotans. We're a friendly, family-oriented kind of people. Honesty, pride, independence, and caring. North Dakota Trademarks. A big part of North Dakota rests in the Central Flyway, and our state and its thousands of hunters host over 10 million migratory waterfowl every spring and fall. We don't have to brag much about our hunting. It's already legendary. Thousands of years ago, the great buffalo was called Tatanka. And just as the early dwellers of the preserved Slant and Knife River Indian villages did, Native Americans still honor the buffalo, the eagle, and many other animal and bird totems during their summer celebrations. Indian powwows are held all across North Dakota. And don't be surprised if you're invited to join right in. Contemporary pioneer families from all over the world have joined the annual Fort Seward wagon train to relive history in our wide open rolling countryside.
This is North Dakota's West. Where thrilling legends were born and live on. This is the land of the fur trader, Fort Union, the confluence of the mighty Missouri and Yellowstone rivers. Where artists Kaplan and Bodmer and Audubon captured the glory of yesterday. North Dakota's West was home to the man the Indians called Yellow Hair, the starting point of General George Armstrong Custer and his 7th Cavalry as they rode west to the Little Bighorn. Treat yourself to a few tranquil hours on a churning paddle wheeler as flashing blades bite deep into the water. The mighty Missouri River has its own spirit, its own legends, hidden deep in its dark, boiling currents. Casino gambling's available almost anywhere you are in North Dakota. An evening of blackjack or high-stakes bingo could be a profitable way to end a perfect North Dakota day. Or you could top off the day with some delightful local talent. Or check out the more famous performers. Medora's Outdoor Amphitheater offers a spectacular Badlands backdrop where you can sit under the starry sky and watch the fabulous Burning Hill Singers. North Dakota has quite a few heroes, and even more legends that surround them. One is about the Marquis de Mores and his beautiful wife Medora, who lived in this chateau in the Badlands. The tall tales that visitors hear are just another part of the charm of visiting this authentic western North Dakota cow town. Medora is snugged right into the south edge of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, a massive 110 square mile chunk of raw beauty set aside to honor our Rough Rider president. Shoot it up as much as you want when you set out to discover this frontier spirit. Sitting tall in the saddle is easy once you're up there. To really see the Badlands, saddle up and become a part of them. Cross the same rivers. Climb the same trails that rough riding Teddy Roosevelt did when he lived and ranched here. This is the land that T.R. loved. He came an eastern dude and left a feisty hero whose hand would leave an indelible mark, not only on North Dakota, but on the entire nation. Discover the spirit. Discover the spirit. Discover the spirit of North Dakota.
The spirit of North Dakota is in our heroes. Rough Riding Teddy Roosevelt, Custer, the Marquis de Morris, the Cowboy, the Riverboater, the Sodbuster, and the people of the great Indian nations. And it lives on in our people today. Discover our spirit and yours.